Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing cha-ching number 87. So I do have quite a few cha-chings to go through in this specific cha-ching. So we are just going to get started, as always, where we left off. Uh, the first thing I have is a perfume by Calvin Klein. This one was Calvin Klein Eternity Purple Orchid. This sold for $79.99 and I'm pretty sure this came from a tray lot of perfumes that I won at an auction. Fairly certain. Sometimes I have a hard time remembering where I pick stuff up at, but I think that's where that came from. Uh, next item we have, actually Eric um, won this at an auction. This is a Longaburger mini umbrella basket. Um, I don't sell a whole lot of Longaburger baskets. I do know some of the ones to look for, not all of them, but I do know a little bit about the, um, you know, some of the better ones. Um, and it does seem like miniature versions of Longaburgers sell um, decently, some of them. And I feel like that's the same way with other stuff as well. Like miniature versions seem to sell. So this is a miniature version of their much larger umbrella basket. This sold for $119.99. And like I said, Eric did win that at an auction. And I'm pretty sure he paid about $20 for it, potentially a little less than that. Next I have, this is a vintage children's Oshkosh a corduroy dress. I did pick this up at a yarn sale. I'd say I paid about a quarter or 50 cents for it. Um, typically I do like to pick up the vintage children's um, Oshkosh bib overalls, but if I see anything vintage Oshkosh um, children's clothing, I do um, take a minute to, you know, see if it's worth buying. And it definitely seemed like this one was a good one. So that did sell for $39.99. And like I said, I probably paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. Next item was a top by a company called Zanana Signature, if I'm pronouncing that um, word correctly. This sold for $14.99. And you know where that came from, right? Do I even have to say it? Of course I have to say it. Uh, the Facebook Marketplace Garbage Bag of Clothes. Uh, Oh, do you hear that? We got a cha-ching. I'm sorry. I like, I have to see. I have to see what it was. Okay, I sold a pair of um, men's shorts for $39.99. Throw that. Throw that in this cha-ching right now. Um, I got these shorts at a church yard sale and I paid less than a dollar for them. Anyway, we were talking about this next item, which was a Holt Howard Little Toll Angel. Um, we won this at an auction, Eric and I. Um, this, actually I wasn't at the auction with him um, when he won this. This was back when um, uh, my baby, Amelia, was still a puppy. So I wasn't able to go to auctions during that time, so I had to stay home with her. But um, anyway, I had seen this in a picture, Eric was like taking pictures of stuff to like send to me as to, you know, like what he should bid on and stuff like that. And I saw it sitting there and I was like, oh my gosh, that, like it reminded me of Holt Howard as soon as I saw it. So I did a search for it and lo and behold, it was, um, that sold for $49.99. I'm pretty sure that did go out of the country and I'd say he spent maybe $7 or so for it. I sold a pair of Scassi clip-on earrings. These were actually broken. Not necessarily broken that you couldn't wear them, but there was one little dangly bit missing off the one. And they still sold decently. Um, $19.99 is what I got for them. So I don't know if the person who purchased them was just going to take them apart anyway and like do something else with them, like craft, craft wise, or if, you know, they were going to just take off the other, um, piece on the other one. So, you know, they would match again. But that brand, Scassi, is a like high-end type of brand. Their jewelry is expensive. Um, next thing we have, Eric won this at an auction. This was a World War II folding trench shovel. So this was a really pretty cool find at the auction. That sold for $69.99. And he probably spent about $20 or so for it. 
Um, let's see. Next item we have. Oh, this was a beautiful, absolutely beautiful lampshade. They call these end of day um, lampshades. This one had a really pretty like splatter look to it. Just a round ball sphere. I have sold one of these before. Um, I won two of them at an auction. I did pay up for them. I paid less than a hundred for them, but it was, you know, it was getting up there. It did sell for $149.99 though. Um, definitely one of those things I feel like I never come across. I, I would never come across something like this at a yard sale. It was like what I think. Um, so, but yeah, that did come from an auction. And I already sold the other one too. That was probably in a cha-ching a while back. Um, let's see. Next item also came from an auction. This was a vintage from 1988 Barbie called Cool Times Barbie. I had this Barbie when I was a little girl. I loved this Barbie and I wanted to keep her so bad. But I'm like, I'm never going to take her out of the box. The box is just going to sit probably on top of my computer desk. So I was like, I'm just going to sell it. And that sold for $39.99. And I say I spent about 5 or $6 for that. Uh, next we have a Victoria's Secret Incredible Bra. This probably came from like a fill a bag rummage sale and that sold for $19.99 which kind of surprises me. I feel like Victoria's Secret bras are really hit or miss. Sometimes I feel like I can't sell them to save my life and then other times I'll get one and it'll sell fairly quickly. So I don't really know the rhyme or reason for that or anything anything like that but um those that one did sell uh next we have another perfume this one is a baby fat goddess that sold for $49.99 which is awesome um this is a fragrance that is getting harder to find people really um you know are looking for this specific fragrance and that again I'm pretty sure it came from like a tray lot at an auction Next we have, this was a set of three Avon, they were called Forest Friends, little Easter figures. Again, this came from an auction on a random tray of stuff. Eric thought that they were really cute. He probably paid a dollar for the tray and obviously there was other stuff, you know, on the tray. And those did sell for $9.99. Next we sold a set of fly fishing, um, flies and lures. Those sold for $40.99. Eric did win these at an auction as well. Um, at one point he went to an auction and he did win like a bunch of like fishing related stuff. That's why you're kind of seeing some of that in this cha-ching. I think you probably saw some of it in my last cha-ching as well. Uh, next we have a vintage pyro. This, the pyro is the brand name on this truck. It was a little plastic truck. Uh, by a company named Pyro, and it was like an army medical truck, and these were actually selling really well as well. Um, I think you saw I had sold another one with like a boat in another cha-ching as well. Um, this one here sold for $49.99, and I probably paid maybe $5 for it. Um, next we have a blue Viking swung vase. This one was absolutely beautiful. That sold for $59.99. That also came from an auction. At one point I had won a bunch of blue, like really pretty blue glassware. And I don't know how many more pieces I have. I feel like my like a lot of my swung vases have sold. Uh, next we have another perfume. This one was by Avon and it was called Hawaiian Shores. That sold for $13.99. Again, came from an auction. Probably paid a dollar or less for that. And this item actually went to a subscriber named Barbara. This was a little ceramic, um, like kitty cat. I think its actual intended use was to be used as a diffuser. So I don't know if like it would have, um, you know, originally come with like a little sachet packet or something that you would stick in its back end or not. But um, when I purchased it, there were a couple little like um, flower pieces sticking out of it, um, like fake flower pieces. So I just kept them in there because obviously you could use it as like a little planter, that type of thing. Anyway, that sold for $9.99. And I'm not sure if I picked that up at a yard sale 
or if that came like on a tray lot at an auction. Next we have a Roseville planter. Eric and I found this at a yard sale. I feel like we paid maybe five dollars or so for that. It was a really nice one and that one sold for $39.99. It wasn't one of those like huge ones. Um, it was a smaller one. I sold a pair of Kirk's Folly sunglasses. These were so pretty. They had like all of these like rhinestone bling around the um the frames. Those sold for $45.99. They did come from an auction and I'd say probably paid about seven dollars for those. Next we have oh this big old set. Eric and I won this set at an auction. Um, it was a whole tray of these. They were called, they were by the Franklin Mint and they were called the House of Fabergé and they each featured um, kind of like um, like a Christian nativity type of you know uh, scene on them. People really do collect these. Obviously, the more you have, the better that they do. This set sold for $280. I was kind of blown away. Um, had no idea. We saw them at the auction, and for whatever reason, Eric looked them up. Like, I looked right past them. Like, you know what I mean? They didn't really stand out to me. Some things just don't stand out to me, and, you know, vice versa. There's there's always things, you know, you can look at a table at like a yard sale or an auction and there's some things that are just going to stand out to you and other things you might just like pass right on by, you know what I mean? And that's how I felt about these things, but for whatever reason, they stood out to Eric, he looked them up and he was like, oh my goodness, we have to bid on these. I was like, okay. Yeah, lo and behold, $280 for those and we spent maybe like $10 for them, so... They didn't stand out to anybody that day except for Eric, which is awesome. Uh, let's see, next we have another Avon perfume. This one was called Dolce Aura, and that sold for $9.99. Again, less than a dollar for that. Um, came from an auction. Next item, I think also came from an auction. This was for a set of five McDonald's. Um, changeables, like the little transformer changeables, um, McDonald's toys, so these were older. Um, those sold for $17.99, and I'd say they came on like a tray lot of just some like, you know, McDonald's type toys at an auction, so they probably weren't much at all. Uh, next we have a Little Cheesers Trinket Box by Gan, so it looked like a little um, treasure chest basically, but there was also like a music um, box piece underneath so it played music and you could use it to store like jewelry and stuff in. That sold for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale. Next item was a Bob Mackey top. This top actually came from an auction as well. Um, at one point um, I had won like a bunch of Bob Mackey pieces of clothing. I do still have some listed. They haven't all sold um, they're kind of slow movers, but I like picking them up just because I think the pieces are really pretty. Uh, I probably paid maybe $5 for the top, and that sold for $29.99. Our uh, next item was a really cool ceramic pig. This had, like, shamrocks um, all over it, and this is by a company called, they call this Wemis Wear. Um, this is one of those things that... I, it stood out to me at an auction when I was looking at it. I was like, oh, that pig is really cute. Like, it has a really cute face. And there was other ones there as well. And they will actually be in probably my next chiching. This is the first one that sold. Anyway, it sold for $99.99. They are collectible pigs. People are looking for these Wemis Wear pigs. I had never seen them before until I saw them um, at the auction. All right, next item we have is a, oh, this thing was really cute, and I was surprised it did take a while to sell. It was a really old, um, like, tulip-shaped cup. It had a handle and everything on, like, a little pedestal, basically. Uh, on the bottom of it, it said U.S. War Savings Bonds. I'm not sure what exactly that meant, like, if that was something, um, you know, if they had, like, 
stores back then where you could purchase things with those I don't I have no idea if anyone wants to give me a bit of a history lesson in the comments let me know um I just I wasn't sure why it said U.S. war savings bonds on the bottom of this cup but it was a beautiful cup definitely older and uh, that sold for $19.99 and that did come off a tray of stuff I won at an auction Next item, I'm pretty sure did go to a subscriber. Um, her name is Hannah. She purchased a Delia's brand um, long sleeve thermal like shirt. So this, um, I had listed kind of like Y2K because it was an older top um, that would have been sold probably, you know, early 2000s because I used to work at Delia's and I specifically remember that top when I worked there. Anyway, that sold for $19.99, and I did pick that up at Goodwill. Uh, let's see, I sold a vintage beaded Easter egg. So this is uh, one of those pieces that someone obviously like made, handmade using like a kit, and then there were these ducks inside. Really pretty, really nicely made. That sold for $17.99. And I did get that at a thrift store. I'd say I spent about maybe a dollar to two dollars for it. Next we have a Topper Dawn clone doll. I didn't realize that this was a clone doll. I think actually one of you guys had let me know and I was able to change my listing um, because it was a clone Dawn doll, which I was not aware of, but it did still sell for $10.99 and that did come from an auction. I had won a bunch of like older doll clothes and stuff like that. Um, next item also came from an auction. This was a really nice stoneware pitcher by a company called Iron Mountain. Again, one of those pieces that just looked really cool. I had to figure out who it was and that type of thing. And one of the great things about, um, for me anyway, one of the fun things about auctions is researching stuff and like finding out um, what things are worth and that type of stuff and I just love doing that because you learn so much so and you have to you have to stay on top of that type of stuff especially if you're going to auctions there are people who just wing everything and you know they just buy what interests them and that but you really sometimes miss out on things if you don't take that extra time to research stuff. Um, so like I had no idea, I, had, I knew nothing about this picture. I did my research for it, realized that it was a really good brand and it was selling really well. It sold for $99.99 and I paid less than $20 for it. And next we have, Eric purchased this at an auction. This is a car painting spray, um, spray gun to, you know, paint cars by a company called Devil Biss. He sold that for $63 and he did win that at an auction. Um, I don't remember exactly what he paid, but obviously it wasn't much. Uh, next item did go to Sandra, a subscriber. She purchased a Freemason compass mug. This did come from an auction as well. Um, it was on a tray lot of some other things that I won that sold for $19.99. I sold another Kirk's Folly item. This was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful peacock scarf. Absolutely gorgeous beaded peacock scarf. That sold for $69.99 and I say I paid maybe six seven dollars for it i know it wasn't much and it was absolutely beautiful uh let's see next we have an avon mark um retro this was retro red like um you can use this on your lips your cheeks that type of thing it's like a multi-use type of um cosmetic item that sold for five dollars and 99 cents came from an auction most of my avon stuff did come from an auction Sold another set of fly fishing flies. I think these were by Orvis. Those sold for $10.99. Eric did get those at 
an auction. It was the same one um, with all the other fishing related stuff. Uh, next item was an old glass swizzle stick. This was a nice advertising piece for a place called the Jack White Club. So this was in New York City back in the 1930s. So that was a really cool advertising piece. That sold for $9.99 and um, that came from an auction at one point. I won, it was on a tray lot, but there was on the tray, <laughs> there was this like cup that was full of these older glass swizzle sticks and I did sell, I think all of them. So they did go. I sold a 1998 Dimensions cross stitch kit. This was called the Seasons Quilt. So it was a cross stitch kit that made a quilt. That sold for $39.99. I probably picked that up at a yard sale and I probably spent about a dollar for it. Next we have a Fenton Pink Cabbage Rose Trinket Dish. I did get this at a yard sale. I say I spent maybe 50 cents or a dollar for that. I remember it was a really good deal and that sold for $29.99. I sold a Lush Tropical Fruit Perfume. This was mine. Um, I do get the Lush subscript, the kitchen subscription box. I wasn't a fan of the fragrance of this. Um, I don't always get questions about what's behind me. People seem to think it's like nail polish or something. Those are all perfumes, Lush perfumes. Um, I have quite the collection. I am like debating on selling some of my collection because there are some fragrances up there like I just don't touch. There are some that I solely have to smell basically. Um, so I do, I need to go through those and maybe part out some that I just don't care for the sense of. Anyway, I wasn't a fan of the scent Tropical Fruit. Um, that sold for $35.99. It was like a smaller uh, bottle. Um, let's see, I sold a Shakespeare Wonder Rod fishing rod. This came from the same auction when Eric was buying all the fishing stuff. Um, that sold for $29.99. I'm sorry I don't know exactly what he paid for those fishing things, but it wasn't much. Um, we, we never pay, um, uh, obviously more than what we're gonna sell something for, so there's always profit being made in everything that we purchase or we're not you know buying it and or selling it type of thing uh next we have this also came from an auction this was a henry clive tin and it had wallace reed on the front of it people were actually collecting these these tins um this one wasn't even in the best condition. I mean, it had scratches and stuff on it. Uh, I paid $1 for it. No one else was interested in it. So I paid $1 for it. I put it up on auction and it sold for $23.50. So not like a ton of money by any means, but I'll turn a dollar into $23 every day if I, if I can. <laughs> um, next we have a, this is a vintage jewelry box. It was by a company called Texol, T E X. Oh, well. um, it was one of those hinged jewelry boxes. Eric won two of these at an auction. The other one sold. Um, that was probably in the ching before this one. And this one sold for $19.99. I think he paid like a dollar for it. The next two items also went to Sandra. Uh, first was a Crabtree and Evelyn hand therapy lot. I think there was four of these in there. Those sold for $12.99 and I picked those up at a yard sale. And then the other thing she purchased was a brand new Simply Organico Lavender Berry Soap that sold for $5.99. Next we have, this is a vintage from 1966 Tupper Toys. Uh, this thing was so awesome because it was still sealed in its original bag. It had never been opened sealed since 1966. I think that's awesome when you come across stuff that has just never been opened in all those years. It's like you kind of hope it still stays sealed but you just never know um, if people are like opening things and using them. Anyway, that's over $69.99 and I say I paid maybe five dollars for it. Um, I sold, oh this one was interesting. This one was for a stuffed cat it was just a stuffed cat right um it was by a company called arnold print works 
dated 1892. So this was an old stuffed cat. So a little funny story behind this cat. I won this at an auction. It was on a tray in the box lot area. And I am going to tell a little story here. So I'm getting a little bit off off track from my chichings. But anyway, so at an auction, typically there is stuff in the main area of the auction, the stuff that, you know, the auction house thinks is going to be bringing in potentially the most money, like the more antique stuff, the more, you know, pricier items. And then in the back of the auction houses, there's usually what they refer to as box lots or tray lots, where they put stuff that's just kind of like the mishmash of it all. Um, not everything is, you know, antique or not everything is going to garner a ton of money. I mean, stuff still garners a ton of money back there, but, um, you know, it's not the stuff they think is it's going to be so as fantastic as up front. So anyway, this cat was in a tray in the box lot area and it wasn't even what I wanted in the tray. What I wanted in the tray hasn't even sold yet. And that always happens. You guys hear me say it all the time. I sell the stuff first that like, you know, I, I wasn't even intending on purchasing, right? So this cat was just in this tray in like a baggie. It was kind of smooshed just in a baggie. I thought it was really weird. Like, why is this in here? Like, what is this? So I looked it up and lo and behold, I was like, oh my goodness, like this probably should have been up front. I definitely think that they could have gotten a decent amount for it, but I won it in the box lot tray for, I think I paid $10 for my box. Um, it actually might have been less than that in all honesty. And that cat sold for $82. So that was pretty awesome. <laughs> all of that for all of that for this stuffed cat. Oh my goodness. I need a sip of coffee. Mm, mm -mm. Okay. I'm sorry about that spiel. Next we have a Nippon or Nippon, I should say, right? Nippon. I always want to say Nippon. I just have so much more fun saying Nippon, guys. And I know it really upsets some of you because I pronounce it wrong. And I apologize, but I like to say Nippon. Anyway, it was a ceramic um, condensed milk jelly jar. This did, I'm pretty sure, come from an auction. It sold for $83 dollars and 30 cents and I say I spent less than $20 on it. I sold a Five Nights at Freddy's Bonnie plush for $12.99. This did come from a yard sale. This isn't one of the plushies that I picked up recently at an auction. Um, this one did come from a yard sale and I probably paid about 50 cents um, or potentially a dollar for that. I sold an LG Wright uh, blue and white glass hen on a nest that sold for $29.99 and goodness gracious that either came on a tray lot from an auction or potentially even a yard sale. I sold a set of two vintage Tupperware really large fix and mix bowls. There was a yellow one and a green one. I did win these at an auction. I'd say I spent maybe six dollars on them and I sold them as the set of two for thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. People really do like those large Tupperware bowls. They come in handy especially when you're making like large batches of stuff or you know that type of thing or like you're baking and need like a big batter. Um, I sold a lot of old Sylvania camera flash bars. Um, this was a random box lot tray at the auction. Um, it sold for $10.55 and, you know, I probably paid a dollar for the tray and there was other stuff on that tray that I did already sell. Um, some of it was some expired film. I think there's actually some of that in this stitching as well. Um, next was a pair of vintage Barbie blue T-strap heels. 
These sold for $12.99. They came out of the same doll case where that um, clone Dawn doll um, came from at the auction. And this next item came from the tray with the camera flash bars. This was a Kodak, um, a box of Kodak film that was expired. That sold for $8.99. People still buy um, the old um, camera film, even if it is expired. Um, next item was a Sack Roots, like, keychain wallet card that sold for $9.99. I'm pretty sure that was, um, from a fill -a bag rummage sale. Item went to Hannah. Again, um, same person that purchased the Delia's top earlier on. This one was for a black leather Italian shoulder bag. This purse did come from an auction, um, really beautifully made um, Italian leather that sold for $19.99 and it did come from an auction if I feel like I don't know if I mentioned that or not. And the last thing that I have for this Chi Ching um, went to a subscriber named Ginger. This was a Department 56 pumpkin witch ornament. I'm still selling my um, Department 56 ornaments. I do feel like none have sold like fairly recently um but you know I still have some and hopefully you know more will go um closer to Halloween and that type of thing um and then what I have to talk about as far as eBay goes um out of this whole cha-ching I only had one non-pain bitter so that's nice and I always say I, I wish there were none <laughs> but you know it happens um you know where people don't pay for their items in my last cha-ching I think I was complaining I was I had like an uptick in non-paying buyers um I think um currently like recently I haven't had any uh knock on wood um <laughs> which means I'll probably have one soon but I also have kind of taken um, a break from sending out offers. I, I was noticing slightly a slight uptick in non-paying um, buyers of the people who were, you know, just accepting offers that I was throwing out. They would they would accept my offer and then not pay for the item. So I haven't sent out any offers in a while. Um, which kind of sucks because it does help, you know, get some sales rolling in. But since I, I was having so many, um, people accept my offers and then not pay, I was just kind of like not wanting to send out offers here lately. So, um, I'm probably going to start sending out offers again here soon, but <laughs> as of now, I just kind of cut back on that. Um, and then... I do, so this is um, the week of Memorial Day. Memorial Day is over now. Um, but Memorial Day sales were great, um, which surprised me. I just figured, you know, most people were going to be out doing stuff and that type of thing and not really be shopping, but a lot of people were shopping. Um, so Memorial, excuse me, I'm burping. Memorial Day sales were really, really good, so I was happy about that. I had quite a load to take in the post office, which always makes me happy. I don't know how happy it really makes the post office workers, uh, but they always have a smile on their face, and I'm so appreciative of them. Um, and then the only other thing I really have to talk about is something new that I've seen on eBay recently. Um when someone who has purchased something from you before whether it was recent or you know a little in the past ebay is starting to like let you know when someone's a repeat buyer which is really cool especially when it comes to you know i do have some subscribers who purchased from me and you know some of them like some of you guys like multiply multiply right like <laughs> Sorry, I'm always silly when I drink my coffee because I'm just so, ah, but, um, you know, have purchased from me multiple times is what I'm trying to say. And, you know, I've come to recognize your names right off the bat. It's like as soon as I see the username, I know exactly who it is <laughs> um, by your actual name, not just your username. 
So, um, but it's nice too because I sometimes have, you know, subscribers who might not tell me that they're a subscriber but do like purchasing from me and, and things of that nature. And so I just think it's really cool that now you can see if someone is a repeat buyer. I just think it's neat, like a neat thing for eBay to do so you can kind of like see, um, you know, how many how many times people are like repeat buying from you because you can follow people's stores and that type of thing. So it's just nice to see that, you know, there's people who enjoy your items, who look to see when you list things and enjoy shopping from your store type of thing. So I found that was a cool new feature I hadn't seen before. Um, so I do like that aspect. Um, but other than that, do I have anything else to talk about? I feel like that is pretty much everything for um, this cha-ching. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, how things are going for you, anything new and or interesting and or the good or bad aspects of eBay selling down in the comments. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.